What's up guys? Today I have Beyblade vs. BU Random Booster Volume 30. So we're gonna get right into it. good deals well guess what I've got some news for you I have a discount code for baysandbricks.com your one-stop shop for all your Beyblade needs head on over there and enter the code silly salmon at checkout and you will receive 7% off your whole order the link will be in the description so head on over there and get your good deals right now all right, so as you can see, I have five random booster volume 30 boxes. Um, so yeah, I'm taking a look at the box really quick. So this is Wind Knight. And it is the evolution of Air Knight. So yeah, pretty sick. Um, <laughs> it's going to be pretty cool. So this um, evolution of Air Knight is pretty cool. The last time we saw Air Knight was um, Cho Z. That was the only time we saw it, actually. As you see, there's some modes and stuff. Here's the back of the box with all the other bays of the random booster. Uh, also, a little secret thing here. We'll get into that later. There's the bottom. Yada, yada. Boom. Okay, so these are random. I don't really remember what's what. Um, so, yeah. We're going to open them. So we're just gonna do a pull by pull. So here's the first pull. I'm gonna take it out. I'm not gonna look at the stickers just yet. Oh, well, never mind. This is um, Excalibur. This is Devil, Devil Excalibur. Um, that's that's fun. I thought the stickers were not gonna be upright. Anyway, Devil Excalibur. All right, second pull. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna. Ease it out a little bit less than just to see if we have stickers. Okay, no stickers here, like it, like shown. So ready, three, two, one, boom. Okay, this is a xiphoid bellial. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. All right, next pull. All right, third pull, guys. Let's see what we get. Let's see, let's see. Slowly pull out this thing. Okay. Stickers are not shown. Ready, guys? One, two, three. Ooh, Wind Curbeus. Dang, so close, so close. All right, on to the next pull. All right, second to last pull. Let's see what we get in this one, huh? This is gonna be, this is gonna be, no stickers, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see, three, two, one. Oh, Prominence Knight. Alrighty, next pull. All right, here it is. Last pull, guys, let's see what we get. We're gonna, oh, it's kind of stuck. We're gonna. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, kind of, it was kind of stuck. Okay, here it is. Okay. Stickers. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, there it is. Hair night, or uh, wind night. Sorry, wind night, guys. Here it is. Ooh, last pull too. That's honestly really cool. Very fitting. Alrighty. Okay, moving on. All right, quickly demonstrating the gimmick of wind. So as you can see, there's these little red bits sticking out right there um, on the bottom. And 
if you turn it over, there's this little tab right here. You pull that out and this is actually a lock and you twist and those little red bits go away. And uh, yeah, and then you lock it back in. So now we're in upper force mode to where it is uh, blowing the wind upwards. The airflow is going up. So it's gonna be getting lifted up a lot more. Um, the bay will be getting be lifted up. And when you switch it back to uh, the little red bits to be more visible, you are on downforce mode. The wind, the airflow is pushing the bay downwards. So you're more low to the ground. Um, and that is some more stamina and the upper force is more attack. Um, yeah, that's the gimmick with uh, wind. Alrighty, moving on. Alright, here is the entire set stickered up. So, we're gonna take a look at number five of the set, Xiphoid Belial. Um, basically, the stickers just kind of complete the look a little bit more right there with the yellow as well as on the Xiphoid blade. Pretty nice, kind of just throws it all together. Um, yeah, here's what it looks like put together. Pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, here is Devil Excalibur. So, stickers are obviously the big red one right there. Black details. And some red little bits right there. Here's what it looks like together. It is a pretty tall bay. Look at how... Look at how tall it is. It's humongous. <laughs> kind of funny. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all there is to say about it, honestly. Um, yeah. Here's what it looks like with the sword coming out. And, yeah, that's, that's it. Hmm. Okay, next up. Wind Curbeus. Now the stickers, the only three stickers there are, are these three on the wind blade. And uh, that's it. Here's what it looks like put together. Very low to the ground, actually. It's pretty cool looking. I, I like the look. It's very nice. Um, definitely goes together, actually. Which is kind of funny, the way that they um, color coordinate these combinations. Um, yeah, that's Wind Curbius. Alright, next up, here is Prominence Knight. Now, stickers are literally just uh, black detailing, so you get black detailing on the core itself, as well as on the Prominence armor. Nothing on the blade. Here's what it looks like, side profile. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of all there is to say about that. There is, um, Prominence Knight. And a, I believe, yeah, there's a quick little preview of the, uh, core gimmick. Alright, now here it is. The moment you've been waiting for, Wind Knight. Now the stickers include this right here, the blue detail, as well as the red right there on the side, on the core itself, and the three main stickers on the blade. And that is about it. Here is what it looks like from the side. Very low, compact to the ground. There's bounce. It's really cool. I really like the look of it. And uh, yeah, that is Wind Knight. Let's take a look at that gimmick, shall we? With the core. Look at that, it like tips. Isn't that weird? The way it just works like that. It's kind of funny. Um, yeah, that's how the core, core works. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, now you may have noticed something. You may or may not have noticed it. But, um, all of these bays, excluding Wind Knight, all of them have, um, certain parts. And, uh, you know, if you didn't notice, all of those parts are for a Xiphoid Excalibur. Um, so yeah, the secret of this random booster is that you 
can create the demon sword xiphoid excalibur so we're gonna do that in three two one and here it is devil blade excalibur so this thing is pretty much just a black and gold excalibur but it looks really cool um yeah honestly this thing looks epic uh so here it is the whole thing is basically black except for the gold driver kind of throws it off a little bit but it still works and um yeah honestly this thing looks awesome i like it way more than the uh original colors um it just works honestly just black just black just makes everything look cool um yeah so here it is it's pretty neat um here's what it looks like when it's aligned in the sword mode you know super epic hit mode whatever you want to call it um but yeah that's about it for this excalibur not much to say besides that um I don't know, you know, pretty cool. It's nice the way that they did it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, that is Devil Excalibur. All right, so that is the full set stickered up and ready to go. So we're going to do some test battles. All right, let's get right into it. All right, we're going to do some spin tests. Uh, first up, this is uh, the Xiphoid Belial. Three, two, one. <laughs> It's definitely very aggressive and um yeah i'm gonna be kind of sad when once this uh xiphoid blade gets worn out because it looks so nice um yeah okay next next one all right here we go wind curbeus and here we go here's a look at the bounce driver going just kind of chilling there very interesting um yeah, let's try to artificially slow it down and see what happens. Just trying to fake a battle. I think bounce just kind of started going up, I believe. Yeah, interesting. It's very centered, which is nice, actually. Um, it's pretty neat. Yeah, um, that's... Wind Curbeus, pretty cool. All right, now here is Devil Excalibur, three, two, one. And yeah, there we go. Like I said uh, earlier, wave, wave is just a very um, overlooked driver. It's like, honestly, it's actually really good. And uh, especially since this is a dash, it's pretty cool. Um, Yeah, very centered. And uh, it looks pretty cool. I like the purple. They don't make enough purple Beyblades. It's honestly kind of sad. Uh, but yeah, that's Devil Excalibur. All right, here's Prominence Knight. Three, two, one. Wow, very aggressive. And very self-KO prone. Uh, yeah. All right, here you go. The moment you've been waiting for. Air Knight on what I believe is downforce. Three, two, one. So yeah, there it is. Um, the wind is pushing it down, the airflow. So yeah, this is a very um, centered stamina bay, which is very cool. And it looks awesome right now. Um, yeah, so there it is. Uh, we're gonna quickly switch the modes. Okay, here is upper force mode. So uh, let's see what happens in this spin test. Ready, three, two, one. Uh, so yeah, it seems to be um, lighter. I don't know. I think it's a little taller. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, but yeah, upper force, they're kind of the same. I don't really know what's going on. It, I, it's not really that like, game-changing, I guess. I don't know. 
Upper force, that's about it. Okay, to try and prevent major damage on my Xiphoid Blade, I'm gonna try and see what happens when I go against Fafnir. Um, it's probably still gonna get damaged, but here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> There it goes, Xiphoid Belial on the attack. Wow, big hits. Oh man, that was a little bit too close to call. All right, it's night versus night. Um, win night versus prominence night. Three, two, one. <laughs> Prominence in for the attack. But wind seems to not be phasing at all. Um, let's see what happens, huh? Yeah. And wind knight takes it. Round two, three, two, one. Whoa, wind for the attack. Oh no. Flipped over. Okay, final round, three, two, one. Whoa, iron, sword dash, sword dash, not iron. Sword dash in for the attack. Pretty cool. It's going in, whoa. Let's see who wins, huh? Yeah. Oh, prominence. All right, I know you guys wanted to see this. Wind Knight versus the Devil Sword Excalibur. Three, two, one. Whoa, big hits already from Excalibur. That Xiphoid Blade is gone. <laughs> Whoa, big hits. But Excalibur's fading and it's a win for Wind Knight. Round two, three, two, one. Oh, ring out by, <laughs> so Excalibur wins. Okay, final round, three, two, one. Off with Excalibur, there it goes. Can it do it, let's see. Oh no, it's fading, and that uh, is a win for Win Knight. All right, everybody, so that was the um, Random Booster Volume 30. Overall, a pretty solid set. Um, decreased the number to five. Um, went down from like eight or seven, all the way down to five. It used to be six. Uh, the last Random Booster was, was also five, I think. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I was also five, but I mean, six was a good number. Anyways, enough about that. Um, overall, a really good set. The, uh, evolution of Air Knight, Wind Knight is super cool. I love the aesthetic of it, honestly. It's, it's really nice. I, I'm a sucker for blue. Anything blue is just really nice. Obviously, if you couldn't tell already. Um, yeah, this... <laughs> Um, Wind Knight itself is really cool. Bounce, eh, Moon, nice BU disc. We don't have enough. We only have two BU discs. Um, yeah, we definitely need more by the time this is over. Um, the rest of the bays, um, like, you know, Wind Curbeus is nice. You get the Curbeus core and Wind, as well as Bounce. You also get Bounce, which I mean, eh? <laughs> But I mean, you get to try it out. It's a new part. You get two new parts in that, in that pull. So definitely pretty cool. And then uh, the Belial core itself and Xiphoid, super nice colors. And then the whole Devil Blade thing looks awesome. I'm definitely gonna keep it like that um, because yeah, why not? Um, yeah, the prominence recolor, the gold, it's nice, but you know, they do a lot of gold recolors, so it's nothing too special. Um, yeah, eh, it's all right. Um, 
yeah, I mean, it's cool that you get another prominence. This is the third prominence now, I believe. And uh, it's a nice inclusion of devil, the devil blade as well in a very nice purple. We don't get a lot of purple parts and high wave dash. Very nice. Uh, definitely could see that becoming competitive. And the destroy dash is also a very nice inclusion. Um, so yeah, overall, a very good set. And I do recommend getting it if you really want it. Um, but yeah, this has been Silly Salmon Inc. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.